But damn it, I'm kind of used to that happening to me. Hey, I'm with Evo. Oh, well, come on up. No, now I've got to be it was, the It was sidekick. actually kind of cool to watch. <laughs> Sidekicking. Oh, oh, oh. It's one time. So, this one time. This one time? <laughs> this, you know what? This one time. This one time. Oh my god, this one time. The podcast. Fruit Loops this morning, why were they so pale? Because they're a natural color. Natural color means washed out of color. The, the box says natural coloring. That's terrible. Now I know why we have artificial coloring and things because that was terrible. <laughs> Greetings from Bangkok. In just a moment, I'm going to tell you about the worst job ever. But before we get there, hello, my lover. Hello, baby. And hello, everyone. I'm Sheila D. And I am Evo Terra. And have we got a story for you? Worst job ever, honey? I, I'm, <laughs> I'm afraid of where you're going. Being the guy that has to wear the Ricola box oh. and wander <laughs> around <laughs> Bangkok. I don't know that he wanders around all of Bangkok. He does wander around all of Bangkok. Have you seen him I outside have. of the I event? I have seen him outside of the event. Let me set the stage. <laughs> On Thursday night, Sheila and I were invited to a very exclusive relaunching of brand packaging party for <laughs> bloggers for Ricola. As in, Ricola. Ricola. Yeah, that Ricola. Um... So yeah, if you if you capture it all together, fancy party it was fancy party. Oh definitely, yeah, it was at a, a speakeasy here up on a rooftop bar. Rooftop very, bar, very cool. Of the we'll go back of the Muse Hotel here in Bangkok. Uh, lovely view. It actually is a speakeasy. You have to it's a secret door to get up and walk two stairs, and you're on top. You think you're at the rooftop bar when you get to there, but you're not. Okay. You have to know the secret password, or in this case, you have to push the big green button that makes the sound. Ricola, and then they open up the door for you. <laughs> so Ricola invited us and a bunch of other influencers that live in Southeast Asia to come to this big exclusive party at this rooftop bar to see some new products they're launching, or I guess new packaging that they're that they're launching, and I'll, and I'll show you that in a little bit. But it was a, it was an interesting party. I mean, first off, why are we going to a blogger party for uh, cough drops? Right, and I am kind of a snob when it comes to cough drops. Yo, would you not say? Yeah, uh, since yes. I did have my son ship out two bottles of the ones that I typically yeah. like. Yeah, yeah, you have to have your son go to like the hippie chick store <laughs> and get you a slippery elm bark that's been yes. powdered and put into a pill form because yes. you are a pain in the ass when it comes to. Oh, but I just I I typically dislike. The Listen, taste of cop drops. Right, right, right. And and, and Ricola has tasty stuff on that. So, yeah. Oh, and by the way, if you think this is a paid plug for Ricola, yeah, kind of. They actually yeah. are paying us to either do a blog post or an Instagram photo. But I thought, why not do a podcast about it? I like it. I, I bet like you it. nobody else is doing that. Because the event was pretty fabulous. So it was held here in Bangkok for all the Bangkok influencers. Now, I don't know any of the Bangkok influencers save one. My my <laughs> Your my, other partner, partner. my partner Greg on the Bangkok podcast. Here's how we got to go to this thing. They reached out to Greg and said, "Do you want to come cover this event?" And he said, "Sure." Can my partner Evo come? And so they said, "Sure." And so they invited me, and then I just invited Sheila because <laughs> let's do the whole thing. So we get to this event. So I, in in reality, I should have like reached out to somebody, a friend of mine, and asked them to go. Oh my God, we should have had like, the whole chain. Right. We should have gone all the way back. Right. The people were flying from America to right. get to this thing. Oh, next time. Next time that Ricola has a new packaging <laughs> event, we will we will do that. So we go to this event after negotiating back and forth. Yes, we can come. And I show up. And we're one of the earliest ones there because I like to be on time. It's a two-hour long event. Mm -hmm. You're paying me to be there. I should actually show up and give you all of my full time. So we showed up a few minutes before. And as we're waiting to go, they finally say, okay, it's time for you guys to go up because they opened up like, you know, right, right on time. And as we're going up, they say, but first we need your invitation. To which I said, huh? <laughs> he did actually do that. I'm not used to taking invitations to things. No. When I'm, an event, and I'm invited to go to an event, there's like a list. And I right. say, yes, I'm Evo with the Bangkok podcast because I don't think I was Evo with this one time, the podcast. Right. Evo with Bangkok podcast. And they go, I'm sorry, who? But the people were actually had like paper invitations. I noticed this and went, I think I might have missed a step. <laughs> yeah, but we didn't get confirmation until like Thursday afternoon, or at least you didn't 
tell me I was going until Thursday afternoon. Oh, I got confirmation like two months ago, but I didn't tell you until Thursday afternoon. What? I know, I know. And it was. You know, we're we're going to discuss that afterwards. So, because I that, didn't. That, that's got to stop. I'm sorry. Didn't have paper invitations and trying to look up an email. And I finally say, well, I'm with Greg Jorgensen. Like, oh. <laughs> they did. Oh, my God. It was hilarious. Oh, well, then go oh. on up. Him? Go. Oh. <laughs> Now, that's weird. I mean, first off, right on. Greg's been here for 16 years. He's my co-host on the Bangkok podcast. Been here 16 years, does a lot of writing uh, locally here, leads some tours, you know, so he's, he's been here a long time. But, but damn it, I'm kind of used to that happening to me. Hey, I'm with Evo. Oh, well, come on up. But no, now I've got to be it was, the It was sidekick. actually kind of cool to watch. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, but it was actually a fancy event because when we got there, my friend Charlene from, she's uh, Singaporean but lives in Malaysia, her and a girlfriend from Malaysia were flew in, flew in for yeah. this event. Yeah, it was really nice. Like uh, that, there were translators and um, all kinds of stuff. Like it was really cool. Yeah, it was. It was interesting. There was the the Swiss guy who was the uh, he's in charge of like the ingredients that go inside. Yeah. So this Swiss guy is reading English, not his strong suit. No. And then there was. I a love th- that he tried though. Good on right. Yeah. yeah. So then there was a Thai woman who I thought originally was translating for that guy. I think she actually works there. Because she said a whole lot more words than he did. When he's trying to describe right. what the benefits are, she's going into much greater detail than he is. So I think she was Ty, who works for Ricola oh, and okay. was in the same department. But we'll let the let the guy talk about the it Swiss. in English, the, the Swiss guy, right. and then we'll let the Thai girl talk about it in Thai, which was mostly a Thai audience. So this right. is a Thai influencer event. Again, we recognized no one. There might have been another... Six non-Thai yeah. people in the audience, not counting our friends from Malaysia that showed up as well. It, it was nice. Um, but we were so out of our league when it comes to the influencers, though. Oh, Do you remember yeah. the contest they had where you took a picture with the backdrop? Oh, yeah. Well, it wasn't just the backdrop. It was any of them. Any it of was, what? It, you just had to post a picture with the tag Ricola. Oh, oh, Ricola. I see. So just post a picture from the right. event with the tag Ricola yeah. and on Instagram is what it was, yeah. right? Well, no, on any of the platforms. Any social media platform. Right. And then whoever had the most. Most what? Uh, likes or repins or whatever it okay. was. Then they, they won the grand prize. And right. they kept saying, you're really going to like this prize. You really want to enter. Right, right, right. Now, I didn't do anything to post the recall and try and enter the contest. I did. Did you really? I did, yeah. Did you think you had a chance of winning? No. Oh, okay. That's why I didn't enter, because I didn't think I had a chance to winning. And man, were we proved right. Because what? In one hour, the dude with the Technicolor oh. rainbow hair from yeah. Ty posted Instagram. It was Instagram. really cool hair, though. He was very cool. It was Technicolor. It. How could like, Technicolor not like, be cool? I... I had something I would like to do with my hair. Rainbow hair. No, it was kid red had. and green. And probably like other lighter colors. colors it's like yeah. shimmering and like a rainbow. Yeah, right? it was really cool. Everybody knows what color is a rainbow. Can we get back to what he actually did? Okay. The amazing thing. He posted this picture on Instagram and within, was it one hour or 30 minutes? One hour. One hour later, how many hearts did he have on that? 4,200. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Now, while most I, of you watching this. I don't this, even have that many followers. <laughs> Excellent point. If you could have all hearted her stuff like thirteen times each, right. maybe that would have that would have done what, it. that would have done it. But yeah. this dude won three hundred and twenty five grams of gold. Yeah, G O L D gold. Now, not three hundred twenty five ounces. So before you start saying, "Holy crap, that was a lot of money," I don't know how much three hundred twenty five grams of gold is, but it is not an insignificant no. amount of gold. It was a big chunk of gold. Like they had it in this little case and all of that. And yeah, it was and that's really what kind you of want. cool. So like, damn, I yeah. should have entered, but I would have had no way of winning at that at that level. So I think we were a little outclassed when it came to the yeah. uh, the, the size uh, and 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 maybe scope. that's why they didn't know you when you <laughs> when you tried to get in. That's probably true. Oh, we're looking for real influencers here, not just some douchebag <laughs> with some a podcast hacks. Not some who hacks. thinks he's funny, who's out of his league. <laughs> But sure, you can come up and enjoy our free food and drinks, I guess. <laughs> the food was really good. Food was really good. Oh, but 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 um the the Ricola the the different flavors are really nice too. There's some of them that I liked and some that you liked and they were not 
the same for both. Right. Let me get to the flavors in a second. But before okay. you get there, I want to get back to the whole point of this show, the worst job in the world. Oh, the bo- <laughs> I now forgot the, about that. <laughs> now, the greatest job in the world, the greatest job in the world, though, might be the like one Swiss guy in Bangkok who knows how to play the long horn oh, yeah. and the accordion and the bowl that you roll like a silver Swiss dollar around and it makes this ringing sound, which you probably I didn't even that. hear. There's a musician who's Swiss who lives here in Bangkok, and he can do all of these things, and yodel, and sing, and all of these things, and so he just has the corner, or the market cornered when it comes to Swiss entertainment here in Bangkok. He was actually quite entertaining. He was, and and somebody said he owns a hotel. I had heard that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know where it is or what it is. I think it's a Swiss hotel. (laughs) I don't know that that's it. Anyhow, he has the greatest job in the world. Worst job in the world is the guy that has to wander around in the new Ricola box. Yeah. Now, not that it wasn't any fun at the party, because, again, the party was kind of easy, and people won't take your picture stuff. I saw him yesterday. Did you really? Friday on the street, as I'm walking down Siloam Road. Okay. There, this, this was not the only Ricola event going on because there were oh. dozens of Ricola people handing out boxes and flavors and okay, various just things. just on the street? And there's the guy walking in the little box, you know, the little mascot walking around in a box. And I'm thinking, Bangkok, Thailand has to be one of the worst places to be trapped inside of a mascot head body but, but forever. I want to see him on the BTS. That could be interesting. <laughs> we should have a big influencer strategy him, there. I want to see him go through the turnstiles and then walk up the stairs and then wait for the train. Right. In queue. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that could be interesting. So the box is out yeah. there celebrating the box. And, and, so I, and I brought these here because they gave us samples. We didn't know we were getting samples, so we might <laughs> have <laughs> stolen okay. A few. Can I just do this real quick? Wait, we no, ready? wait, wait. Because they gave us a lot of samples. Well, here, here's how many samples they got. Uh, people watching on Facebook Live can see this live. People listening to the podcast will just have to hear it. <laughs> That's how many things <laughs> we got. That was- so thank you, Ricola, for inviting us to your big influencer party. We, we love them. Uh, cranberries are, are good are flavor. Are really good. I like the Alpen Fresh, personally. That one's not, I don't, you don't I like You don't like that one it. at all. The Mountain Mint is good, too. How do you think about the Black Bear? Black I haven't current, had it yet. Oh, you haven't had this one yet? I haven't had it yet, oh, yeah. yeah. It's not been open, so that's why I haven't had it either. I know. Anyhow, Ricola stuff. Thanks for inviting us out. Yeah, uh, that was fun. Thanks for taking us to the party. That was, that was, that was pretty fantastic. Um, if you want to do it again, that sounds like fun. I'll go eat your food and drink your things and 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 steal many of your <laughs> recall products that that i probably get a cotton for free if i just asked but, <laughs> but it was more fun to like you, know. you were putting things in my purse yeah 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 you know what to do so <laughs> so that's hey, why we won't be invited back <laughs> right 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 so so baby while well, i'm thinking about this uh, so uh this is episode 30 yeah of our third season and typically what we have done with the first two seasons <laughs> is that at the end of 30 episodes, uh, we take a little bit of a break. Yes. And we come back and we do these things. Now, yes. now, that might happen. Okay. It might not happen. Because I actually already have some, some guests lined up, some, some comedians. I've been reaching back. To, remember when we used to interview or get travel stories God, from that comedians? That was so long ago. Like yeah, like the first like, five, five episodes. <laughs> <laughs> and I kind of got away because I'm lazy. Well, I started reaching back out to comedians Ooh. to get their travel stories. Well, when I say comedians, I mean a comedian. There is a comedian okay. from, who travels, who lives in Cambodia. Do we get to see them next month? Uh, possibly. He's got a funny travel story to tell. Okay. So I'm going to capture that and we'll put it out on an episode, which I will probably release as part of this season. I haven't decided, really. I mean, that's the thing. We may not end at, at 30 episodes. No, I think we cut at 30. Oh, okay. Uh, I think we cut at 30, right. and then we start season two. Oh, no, four. <laughs> we go backwards in time? Even... <laughs> yes. I think then we start season four. Well, we've changed the format with every season. So what's our format for season four? All intro everything. <laughs> that's it? <laughs> that's the big change? <laughs> Woohoo! the big reveal. <laughs> That, that no, sounds terrible. doesn't go. I don't, I don't think we're going to do that. I don't think we have to. Here's the deal. It's our podcast. We can change whatever we want or That's not. True. That's true. We can even change when we decide a season ends. Now you're just talking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but here's one thing that's not going to change with this season or the next, and that is our primary 
funding source honey? That would be postcards. I love postcards. Yeah. And this next month, we're sending them out from Cambodia. CM Reap, Anchor Wat, and I can't wait to go. We collect postcards as we travel, and we send them to the fine people like you, listener, or you, Facebook watcher, who decides that they would like to support us in the show, because the only way we make money off of this show is from these postcards that we provide. Handwritten postcards from us, from all the places we travel to around the world. It's cheap, it's easy. Get signed up at shivo.wtf slash postcards or patreon.com slash OPP travelers. Our music is by Valea Valea. Thanks for listening, listener. I am Evo Terra. And I'm Sheila D. For more information about us, whether or not we continue on with season <laughs> three or go to season four. You know my vote. Finding out who the next great company like Ricola. Oh, yes. And by the way, this is a paid compensation, but we had a great time regardless we did, of that. We did. Uh, you can check out that and everything else about us at our website, shivo.wtf.com.